I am going through some uncontrollable body changes. And for a few months, I felt as though I had nothing to wear. Sweatpants and joggers were, and quite honestly still are, my best friends. And my favorite jeans have now become my dreaded enemy. If you are anything like me, you might feel tired of your outfits that may not be fitting the way that they used to. After recently putting together a few looks using my favorite wardrobe pieces, I've realized there are still some style tips I can embrace. Ones that won't necessarily flatter my body or make me look skinnier or taller because come on, that shouldn't always be the goal, but are ones that allow me to still feel stylish and comfortable as my bump continues to grow. And I want to share those three simple tips with you today. I hope these tips and outfit ideas help you instantly refresh your outfits so that you're not sacrificing comfort for style. If any of this sounds like your jam, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and keep watching. If you are in a similar boat or if you're just experiencing body changes and you're struggling to figure out your outfits, just remember your body is beautiful. It does so many great things for you. None of these tips are meant to tweak it in any way. If anything, I hope these these tips help you embrace the beauty of your current body, which is something that I'm learning to do as I venture into my very first pregnancy journey. The goal of this video is to hopefully also give you some ideas to shop your closet and prevent having to buy new pieces just to refresh your outfits. In my case, I'm trying to prolong the need to buy maternity wear right now, especially since I'm in the midst of doing a low buy year. So I am taking these tips very seriously to get creative with what I already have. Lastly, you will be seeing me wearing some jeans. And I know I said that they're my dreaded enemy right now, but I am using the hair tie trick for the first time so that I can continue to wear them for just a while longer. So with any outfits that you see with jeans, it is the hack that I'm using. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. Tip number one, embrace shapeless dressing. We are talking relaxed and oversized silhouettes. So these are the silhouettes that I have just been loving these last few years. There are so many Many tips out there, including ones that I've shared that tell us to tuck it in, fold it up, dress for your body shape, think of proportions. And while these tips definitely help, sometimes the simplest thing to do is to just embrace the silhouette of the garment itself, especially if it has a looser fit. These types of silhouettes are much more comfortable to wear since they allow for movement and fluidity as you go about your day. I do think there are ways to embrace this while still looking put together. So first off, I recommend to focus on high quality materials. No surprise here, I preach this all the time. Opt for mostly natural fabrics. These include fabrics like cotton, cashmere, linen. These are usually longer lasting than any sort of synthetic material. These fabrics are also much more breathable, so your body temperature is better regulated as you wear these pieces throughout the year, especially if you live somewhere that has four distinct seasons like I do. The reality is that higher quality pieces will look better and last longer and will actually require little to no tricks to style properly since the texture of the fabric itself can stand out. Plus you'll just feel really good wearing them. Another thing I'd highly recommend to ensure that you still look put together is to iron or steam your items. Now I know this is probably not the funnest part of getting dressed. Honestly it is not something that I do all the time which I think will be pretty obvious when you see some of the outfits later on but it is something that can really make a difference in how an item wears on you. Since this overall tip places reliance on embracing the actual silhouette of your clothes, having it well pressed will allow it to drape nicely on the body since there are less folds and wrinkles in it. Some examples of shapeless dressing that I wore recently. In this first outfit, I am wearing this relaxed sweater along with an oversized t-shirt underneath and wide leg cargo pants. As you can see, it's a very casual and comfortable outfit where all of the items have quite a straight fit, so nothing is cinched or tucked in. These cargo pants have been some of my favorites to wear during this time. And as you can see, they're not steamed. <laughs> but they are just so comfortable and I feel like any sort of great cargo pant give off a really effortless feel. I should also mention all of these items are made out of cotton, which is a really great natural fabric, actually one of my favorites because it's so easy to wear and so easy to take care of. The second outfit features an oversized button up shirt, this one, and straight leg jeans along with a sweater tied over the shoulders. This is more of a dressier option where everything drapes very effortlessly. I wore this outfit on that 
Valentine's Day and it felt very put together. Again, each of these pieces are made out of mostly cotton. As you can tell, it is one of my favorite fabrics. Outfit three, very simple with an oversized denim shirt over some baggier jeans. This denim shirt could probably pass as a jacket, which is what I really love about it. So I can easily wear it unbuttoned with a top underneath as well. This particular outfit uses just two pieces, but in a very perfect denim on denim monochrome way, or as we like to call it, the Canadian tuxedo. Tip number two, rewear an item in a less conventional way. This tip kind of forces you to get creative with your current items and think of less conventional ways of wearing them, just ways that you normally wouldn't think to wear the item. In my opinion, it is just a really great way to shop your closet instead of constantly adding to it. I would highly recommend taking advantage of some fun layering here, which you can do especially in the cooler seasons like we are in right now. Referring back to a few of the previous outfits, in the first outfit, I'm wearing this oversized t-shirt underneath. If we compare the outfits, one without and one with, as you can see, the one without lacks just a little bit of something. When we add the t-shirt, the neckline as well as the hemline peeks out, and I feel like it just draws the eyes to those particular areas. This outfit also incorporates the third piece rule, which almost guarantees that an outfit will look more cohesive and interesting due to the addition of that third piece. So instead of wearing a t-shirt as is the conventional way, we can wear it underneath something as a layering piece. And I just love this because I feel like it's so simple. We all have a basic t-shirt in our wardrobes. It doesn't even have to be like an oversized piece. I think just as long as the collar peeks out, you can add that extra bit of interest. The second outfit features this sweater over the shoulders. So rather than wearing the sweater its usual way, I've tossed it over the shoulders, having it kind of act like a scarf or just as an added piece for extra warmth. I especially love one with print on it, like this one with the stripes, so that it adds just that extra pop when paired with neutral pieces. And right now I am really into the chunkier sweater over the shoulders. I don't know, it just looks and feels so much more cozy. But when it does get warmer, you can easily do this with a lightweight sweater or even a long sleeve shirt. A few other examples where you can style clothes in different ways, wearing a button up shirt unbuttoned and worn casually. This outfit consists of one of my favorite outfit formulas, a t-shirt, button-up shirt, unbuttoned, and wide leg pants. Rather than buttoning the shirt all the way and worn like how we are used to seeing it, wearing it unbuttoned and as a layering piece over top just looks more effortless. I think it just adds a slightly more casual element to the outfit. Another option is to wear a cardigan backwards. I think this is just a really easy way to make good use out of another knitwear piece. It's like a two-in-one since the cardigan looks different without the buttons in the front. It actually just looks like a regular crew neck sweater. Wearing a cropped tank top over a shirt. Okay, I was pretty weary about this one, but I did find inspiration for it on Pinterest. I decided to experiment with this very fitted tank top that barely fits me, but I rolled up the bottom so that it fits more cropped. And overall, I actually really love how it turned out. I think it is a really great way to style a tank top in a less conventional way. Because if you think of wearing a tank top, you'd always think to wear it underneath a shirt or a layering piece. All in all, a very unexpected and successful outfit. And the last tip is to mix smarter and casual pieces. This probably comes as no surprise if you've been following along on my style journey. While while I just love a full casual outfit for comfort, there are times where a smart casual outfit can really up the ante. Does your outfit feel too dressy? Add a casual element to lighten it up. Does your outfit feel too casual and sloppy? Add a dressier element so you look more put together. Having this contrast between pieces, whether in color, silhouettes, or style, will always create interest in an outfit. And the two by two outfit formula works really great here. If you are unfamiliar with this concept, it is something that blew up last year over on TikTok, I believe. The premise of it is that a cohesive outfit can easily be created by incorporating two casual and two dressier pieces. I think it really does work. I'll link a few examples 
tools that I've tried down below. Some ways that I love to mix dressy and casual, wearing dressier shoes and a dressier bag to elevate a casual outfit. So rather than sneakers and a slouchy bag, maybe opt for ankle boots and a more structured bag. Sneakers with wide leg pants. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of my favorite combos. It just has such an effortless feel. The pants are more tailored and the sneakers just provide full on comfort. A button up shirt and jeans. This combo provides very nice contrast so that you look put together but also laid back because of the jeans. And a casual sweater with trousers. Another very classic classic combo that is really easy to put together. Again, if you go with a high quality knitwear piece with some tailored trousers, you will look put together and just very refreshed to take on the day. While I know these tips aren't anything new or mind-blowingly innovative, I've just been really drawn to outfits like these, which have really helped me accept my constant body changes and still love wearing my clothes comfortably. Feeling both comfortable and stylish in your clothes will lead to feeling confident. Ultimately, that is my goal when it comes to putting together outfits and growing my wardrobe and I hope these tips and outfits portray that. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and again give this video a thumbs up if you found these tips helpful. I will see you at the next one.